Look, we from the bottom, ain't no problems, we gon' make a way. Got no coach on the field, but we making plays. Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay. Hey, look, why? Cause we gon' make them pay. We from and this one was actually our first game for the Thursday slate. We got Georgia Southern taking on South Alabama. Uh, this line actually opened up in favor of South Alabama minus three, and it's kind of been stayed at the same spot. There are some places right now have it at three and a half. Uh, the total opened up at 53 and a half. Right now, that line's at 50. Depending on what side of the ball, uh, what side of the bet you want to take, there are some spots right now that have it at uh, 49 and a half. The Eagles of Georgia Southern. They're two and four on the year, three and three against the spread. While South Alabama Jaguars, they're three and two on the year, uh, and two and three against the spread. Let's see if there's any in major injury reports. Southern Alabama Bradley at linebacker, he's been out for the season. They also lost a nose tackle at cock. Uh, running back A Jones is questionable with uh, with a ankle injury, and they did lose a cornerback Canteen. He's out for the season. South Alabama. Injury reports, uh, linebacker Rosette, he is out for the season. Running back Kay Walker, he's questionable with a quad injury for this game. Uh, they do lose Daly Jr., wide receiver. He left the team earlier this year. And strong safety Bonger is out for the season. Uh, Georgia Southern, they are coming off a 27-24 loss against Troy. While South Alabama is coming off a 20, a 31-33 to loss against Texas State. Get to these actual factuals. So Georgia Southern, three and six against the spread in the last nine games. They're one and four straight up in the last five games this year. Six and one against the spread in the last seven games against South Alabama. But they are a swapping seven and oh straight up in the last seven games we're playing against South Alabama. But 0 and six straight up in the last six games we're playing on the road. Two and four straight up in the last six games this season. Um, and they are four and one against the spread in the last five games against a Sunbelt Conference opponent. South Alabama, they are three and six against the spread in the last nine games. The unders hit ten on the last thirteen. They also the unders also hit six out of the last seven when playing at home. They're one and seven straight up in the last eight games against a Sun Belt Conference opponent, and four and two against the spread in the last six games whenever they play in week seven. Georgia Southern, South Alabama, flat top. I'm gonna let you take this one. How do you feel about this? Um, so I don't know a whole bunch about what is that the Sun Belt Conference. Um, I'm just going off of you know opponents that they've played, kind of stats that they've been putting up. Uh, to me, and looking at the uh, Georgia Southern, they played. You know, they had that blowout to Arkansas. Um, they played. FAU and just looking at their game um, points that they score versus what they allow, uh, they give up more points than they get. So that is a losing formula. It's almost eight point difference. So they make 24, give up 32. But again, they have those blowouts to like uh, Arkansas and then they played against an Arkansas State team, which played no defense. So there was just a lot of scoring in that game. Um, I'm just going to roll with the fact that this is the home team. Um, I, I would just do money line because it's at three. I don't, I'm not super confident, but just. You, you, you know, you don't have to do a play. You could pass. I know, but I, I'm going to pass. I just, I just want you to know, because yeah. this is going to be your record. Yeah. Ah, but I think it's for money line. I'll take South Alabama money line. I don't think Georgia Southern is that good of a team. And South Alabama could just win at home. So I'm going to mark you down for South Alabama. Just wanted to make sure. Yep. You could pressure that man in his bed. No, I told him he didn't have to make a play because yeah, I wanted him to think, think, like, this shit don't count on your record. So don't be – just because it's on here, don't think, like, just because we're capping the game means you – have to make a play. You, I just you think I'm more confident in the Saturday games, but like Georgia Southern, and as far as like who they've played, because they both, I think they both played, um, they had a common opponent. And yeah, um, I got it right here. Uh, I want to say it was, hold on, it is. It's uh, Raging Cajuns. Yeah, UL. They played uh, Lafayette. 
And but they're both about the same. Like, yeah, well, no, I know. South Alabama only lost by two points, and you and yeah, lost by eight. Right, yeah, that's more than three. I'll take the Southern Alabama money line. All right, Marley, how you feel? All right, so pretty much, uh, you know, flat top. Uh, all right, so I'll, this this is how I feel. Let me just start with this. Georgia Southern, I mean, uh, not Georgia Southern, South Alabama, schedule-wise, I think Georgia Southern has had the tougher schedule overall. I'm looking at South Alabama's schedule, and I'm just, I see Bowling Green, um, Alcorn. They got the common opponent in UAO. And then Texas State, which went into four overtimes. In Georgia Southern, you got Arkansas, UL, Arkansas State, which they won, and then Troy and an FAU opponent uh, before Arkansas State. Georgia teams, to me, even though they're giving up 32 points a game, I think that's based off the schedule. I think they're the better team. This is what it is, though. Georgia Southern can run the ball. They go tote that pill. I want to say triple option, if I'm not mistaken. Sometimes I get Georgia Southern and Georgia State confused. But I think Georgia Southern is the triple option team that I'm thinking about. And this game is going to boil down to can Southern Alabama stop the run? Can they stop Logan Wright with the running back for uh, Georgia Southern? The man is averaging 7.25 yards a touch with five touchdowns and 475 yards on the season. I'm taking the upset here in this game. I'm going to take Georgia Southern and I'm going to take them on the money line in a tight game, I don't think they'll be able to. I think the fourth quarter, they're going to wear this team down. It's going to be too much Logan Wright. And um, quarterback-wise for both teams, I'm just not impressed. As long as Tomlin, who has thrown four interceptions, doesn't turn the ball over, I think they'll be fine. Because Bentley on the other side, he's only thrown two touchdowns and one interception. So it's not like they're throwing the ball all over the place. So I think this game is going to come down to which team can stop the run more. I think Georgia Southern has been a little bit more tested in who they play. And they have the better running game than uh, South Alabama does. So I'm taking Georgia Southern. and I'm taking them on the money line. Um, South Alabama has the ninth worst ranked offense in college football. So... And that's not good at all in college football, as we know. <laughs> not, not the conference in college. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to roll uh, with Georgia Southern money line. All right, Marley likes Georgia Southern. I'm going to have to ride with him, too. And, in fact, you are correct, sir. Georgia Southern is the triple option. They can run it. They run the triple option out of shotgun. They run it out of the pistol formation. So uh, they and they were pretty good last year as well. Running it, not sure how many returners they lost or have coming back, but um, to turn around and prepare for the game like this for South Alabama, and you're not being able to score. I've seen the Southern Southern Georgia Southern team score um, a lot on the Sun Belt, and just looking at the statistics, you know. Traditionally, South Alabama just doesn't have that history on, on their side whenever they jumped up to join um, Division One football. So I'm right there with you, Marley. I like Georgia Southern. I like them to come out here and confuse, confuse the South Alabama defense and just run it up. So I'm, I'm right there with you. I like Georgia Southern with the money. All right, let's get to our next. Okay, hey, look why? Cause we gon' make them pay. We from.